All right, good afternoon. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Welcome to Southwire Solutions University Virtual Training Live. And I'm Beth, as most of y'all know. Uh, I'm your SSU training coordinator and your host today. And today we are continuing a series that we're doing called Where, When, Why, and How. And today uh, we're gonna be talking about the simple table pool calculator. And your Southwire expert that's gonna tell you all about it is Mr. Johnny Sellers. And then we're also joined by Mr. Joe Fawcett and he's gonna take your questions. <laughs> And it's going to be great training. These guys have lots of experience behind them, and you're going to find out a great deal. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Johnny. All right. Thank you, Elizabeth. And thanks, everyone, for joining us today. And thanks to uh, our YouTube uh, crowd for joining. Uh, today, we're going to talk about our South Park Capable Calculator. Uh, a lot of you have probably seen it and want to know about, more about it. Uh, today's class is not going to be a how-to class on how to use the tool. We ha we teach some separate classes for that. Today's really going to be, well, we're going to kind of dig into the how, why, when, why it matters, and why you would want to do this on your project and how it's going to help you. Okay, so we're going to uh, go through this, and we'll stop at the end and, and take time for questions. If you want to, put your questions in the chat box, and uh, Joe and I are going to do our best to uh, uh, save some time at the end and do this. So, let me get started here. I want to share my screen, and uh, we're going to go through the pull calculator. And Elizabeth, are you seeing my screen? I see like a yep, you black. Should be. Okay. All right. So uh, let's get started, and uh, this is about it's going to take us about 18 minutes, and we're through. We'll, we'll do our question and answer. So here we go. Introducing Southwire's Simple Cable Pool Calculator. Wire pulls today can be done very differently than we have in the past. New innovative products and solutions pioneered by Southwire allow us to rethink how we plan and execute wire pulls, making the impossible possible. Southwire Simple Solutions is a complete system of wire, tools and equipment, and planning tools that work together to enable planning and executing very safe and efficient wire pools. Any one piece of the system will result in improvement, but when you combine as an overall solution, it drives significant labor and time savings and improves safety. As our industry faces continued labor challenges, Southwire solutions allow contractors to do more with less. We get a new project and tend and hit the ground running without considering how the raceway installation can impact the ease or difficulty of wire pulling. It's important to plan wire pulling early in the pre-construction phase of the project. This pre-planning will have a big impact on how the raceway is installed, eliminating costly rework. Today's construction projects present many challenges for electrical contractors one of which is successfully installing wire and cable. Southwire's cable pool calculator is the foundation of a solid plan to install wire more efficiently in less time and with improved safety. By beginning with the plan and developing the pool calculations, it's going to allow you to get these reels combined up into one reel instead of many, set it up at the pool point, and make these pools in one continuous pool. So what's different today that makes wire pulls that used to be impossible possible? The answer is Southwire's simple no-loop cable. The low coefficient of friction means it's extremely slick, allowing us to pull wire and cable much further than before in less time through more bends without damaging the cable, without getting it stuck, and eliminating costly labor-intensive splicing and backfeeding. Instead of using the pull box as a 90, the box can be installed in a straight through fashion, allowing us to pull in one continuous pull. Let's see how we use the Southwire cable pull calculator to plan the raceway and a pull. Let's build a feeder that consists of four 600 MCM copper phase conductors and a 250 ground. This feeder is 455 feet long. It has seven 90 degree bends, which far exceeds the National Electric Code 360 degree bend rule. So it's a very difficult pull. 
So let's ask the question, would you ever attempt this pull? Well, your answer is probably a big no. And if we did things the way we did 20 years ago, you'd be correct. There's no way you pull this wire. With Southwire simple no loop wire, this pull is not only possible, but it can be done easily and safely in one continuous pull without splicing or backfeeding. Okay, so let's take a look at this pull. We have it drawn out in a little 3D diagram, and let's kind of follow along with uh, what we have designed here. First, we're going to start in the bottom corner at panel A, and that's where we're going to set up our wire. And we're going to first go vertically up out of the top of that panel. We're going to rise 10 feet into the ceiling of this building. Then our segment two, our next segment, we're going to travel horizontally 130 feet in this building to a 90 degree elbow. This may be up in the barge of us or up in the steel. This is up in top of the building. Okay, next, we're going to drop back down in segment three. We're going to go down 20 feet to a 90 degree elbow. Our next segment, we're going to turn back in the horizontal direction again, segment four. We're going to travel 40 feet and we're going to put a 90 degree elbow. We're going to make a left turn horizontally again. We're going to travel 180 feet in segment five to a 90 degree elbow. Segment six, we'll make another left turn, travel 15 feet to a 90 degree elbow. Segment seven, we're going to travel 40 feet horizontally to an elbow. And our last segment, segment eight, we're going to drop straight down 20 feet to the top of our panel, panel B, that we're, we're feeding. And this is where our wire puller would be set up. So first thing we've got to do is we've got to make this pull National Electrical Code compliant by installing a pull box. If we do things the old way, the pull box will be installed at the 90 degree bend. If we do this, we're splitting this into two different pulls. This means either pulling the wire out of the box and back feeding or cutting and splicing, neither of which is a good option. We're essentially splitting this into two separate pulls instead of one, and we don't want to do that. So how do we fix it? Instead, let's replace this box with a 90 degree elbow. So we're going to put that elbow in place of that pull box, but we still got to have a box in here to be code compliant. So we're going to install the box in a pull through fashion with a wire entering one side of the box and straight out the other side so we can make this pull in one continuous pull, eliminating splicing or back feeding. And we can install that box at any point on this pool that's convenient to us that we can get to easily. Uh, and again, that wire is going to go straight through that box, and we're going to make this one pool. This pool can be done relatively easy with less manpower than you would expect and can be done very safely. Here we have the Southwire Simple Cable Pool Calculator. You can access the calculator by going to southwire.com and looking under our resources and you'll be able to download this calculator. It's an Excel spreadsheet. It's uh, a lot of formulas, industry standard formulas in here. We're just applying Southwire's uh, simple wire and cable properties to do these cable pool calculations. The tool works both for 600 volt cable and also medium voltage cable. So you can do, you can do both with this, this same tool. Don't be intimidated by it. It's really quite simple. The only thing you have to do is give it the information that's in purple. It's really going to be identifying your wire and, 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 and what you're doing and the geometry of your pool. Everything else is done for you to give you the answers that you need. You have some things that are in yellow. If you have some more information you want, you can, you can, you can look to those things, but you don't, again, you don't have to. So don't be intimidated. Uh, you have resources at Southwire who can help you with this tool, help you understand how to use it. If you have a project coming up where you see a need to do some pull calcs and you, and you see the need to help you make these, these difficult pulls easy, reach out to our Southwire resources. We have uh, cable pull specialists. We have contractor solutions specialists around the country that can come help you plan your specific job and your specific uh, feeders. So please reach out to your local Southwire representative or agent and let's get you headed in the right direction with this tool. Okay, so let's go now and make our pull and make it possible. Let's use the pull calculator to plan this pull and design this raceway 
such that we can do this pull in one shot without having to back feed or splice or tail the wire out. First, we're going to select the wire that we're using. We had three 600s. We had a 600 MCM neutral, and we also had a 250 ground. And the tool knows everything about the wire, so that's all we've got to put in to, to do our calculation. We're using EMT. If we wanted to use any other type of raceway, we could choose it here. And the tool sizes the conduit at 3.5 inch per national electrical code, and it will fit in a 3.5 inch. It's always going to size the pipe to fit in, in, the, tr in the conduit or the tray that, that you're using. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to take a look at the coefficient of friction, and we're going to look at the maximum pulling force, which is 10,000 pounds, and the maximum sidewall pressure is 1,000 pounds. Our coefficient of friction is set at south wire simple THHN, which is 0 0.14. And th now we're going to put in the segments of the run. This is simply the geometry of the run. We start at panel A. We're going up 10 feet to a 90 degree elbow. We're going horizontal 130 feet to another 90 and so forth. So we continue to, to simply pop in the geometry of the elbow, of the, of the raceway and the elbows that we're, we're doing here. And this is so important to do this at the beginning of the job before the raceway is run so that you have the opportunity to maximize the way the race we install is installed to make a good pull. You'll notice here as we get this in, everything's green except to the right. We're building continuous tension and sidewall pressure. Our sidewall pressure is above 1,000 pounds. So we've got an issue here. Well, typically we'll go to segment four here and we're going to put in a pull box. And when we do that, we use the pull box as the 90 and we essentially break this into two separate pulls which means I've got to pull from panel A to the box, the pull box. I've got to tail it out and back feed it to panel B, or I've got to splice it. Let's remove that pull box. We're going to put it in the straight section and make this pull box a straight through rather than using that box as the 90. So what can we do to reduce the, the, the sidewall pressure so we can make this pull in one shot? Well, there's a couple things we want to look at. First, let's reverse the pull and see if we pull from the other direction. If we pull from panel B back to panel A, is that going to make a difference? Yes, it did. It made the pull worse. So we know we won't, don't want to do that. So now you're able to make decisions on which end you want to pull from. Now let's put it back like we had it and look at other options. What else can we do here to get the red out and make this pull in one shot? What about the conduit size? What about if we went from 3.5 inch and we upsized the conduit to 4 inch? Will this make this pull any easier? Well, if we look here, it made no difference at all in the tension. And it made a very, very slight difference in sidewall pressure. So there's a myth out there that increasing conduit size ever helps you. The only thing it helps at all on is the sidewall pressure because of the radius of the elbow. So let's go back to 3.5 inch. We don't want to upsize the pipe. What else can we do here to make the pull? Well, what about the radius of the elbow? What if we change the radius of the elbows and we know which elbows to change? Let's go here to our last two elbows and change them to a standard 36 inch long sweep elbow. And immediately we see we've dramatically reduced the sidewall pressure. Uh, we're now in green, our continuous tension is fine, and we are ready to, to, to make this pull and no splices and no back feeding and nothing getting stuck. Now let's try this. Let's put everything back and let's let's look at what if we use someone else's wire. What if we use standard black jacket wire that we have to apply lube and we change that coefficient of friction to 0.35 and you see immediately uh, we went to 85,000 pounds of tension and 47,000 pounds of sidewall pressure. You pull the wire in two before you get halfway through. So we'll show you this to point out that using South Bar Simple Wire and, and doing your pull calc at the front of the project is going to assure that you can do this. You're going to meet code, pulling straight through your pull box, and, and do the pull in much less time and much, much safer. We can show our work if we want to submit this to an engineer or someone who would like to see it. We've got our name and logo here, and we can produce a report that's going to show everything about that pull. Uh, that you can that you can submit to to your engineer or to your 
general contractor, whomever needs it. Now that you've seen the power of the Southwire simple cable pull calculator and understand how this can make a dramatic difference on how fast and easy you can make these wire pulls, think about your next project. How can we help? Get in touch with us and let us help you put together a pull calc on your big feeders and make for a very successful job. Okay, well, uh, that in a nutshell was, is the pull calculator. And, and, and again, wanted to point out why it's important, how it's going to make your life easier and turn these real difficult pulls into something that you can manage. Uh, we have, uh, we see jobs all the time that these, that these, these difficult pulls, contractors get these things stuck and they don't know why. And you find out it got stuck at the last elbow and you got a disaster. You're now having to try to pull that wire back out and having to cut that conduit and it's a very expensive fix at that point so that pull calculator is going to let you design that raceway up front to know where your 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 pull points are to know where you need long radius elbows if necessary and to assure that you're going to make that pull in one shot without telling that back feeding so again it's just it's just a game changer on the way we look at things so um as i mentioned in the video reach out to your southwire support Folks who could help you with this, our agents and distributors around the country who are set up with simple solutions, know how to do this and can help you out. So, um, and, and like I stated at the beginning, that's not a tutorial how to use a tool, just an idea of why it's important and how it's going to help you. So I'm going to stop there and and uh, we'll, we'll check the chat window here and see if we have any questions. So yeah, John, I, I haven't seen any questions coming through the chat yet. So if you're if you're on there, if you want to just type a question into the chat so we can answer it, that'd be great. Um, yeah, with the, the poll calculator, like you said, it's all about that pre-planning. I like to think of it as, you know, uh, cable pulling on, on job costs is stress for a lot of folks. If you're the person that's in charge of that job, uh, might lead you to some sleepless nights because a lot of times we're just doing it kind of by, by gut instinct and, and what we've done before. And really it gives you kind of a way it's a, almost to predict the future about whether or not this is going to be an easy pull or not. Right. Um, and then it just kind of takes a lot of that stress out. You know, if the, if the numbers work and you got the right equipment and you're good to go, then it should have no problems. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Joe and I get involved in lots of projects where cable got stuck and you, you go say, well, tell me about your raceway. Did you do pull calcs? No, we didn't. So give me the geometry of your raceway. Let's plug it in. And we do that. And we say, well, here's why it failed. You were, you were using some wire that had a high coefficient of friction. And it's got stuck, and I can pretty much tell you where it got stuck. And then, yep. And we'll go back and run that with Southwire Wire and our solutions, and you can make those pulls. So very important tool. Um, like I said in the video, if you've got a project coming up, that's a time to get involved with, with someone with Southwire and let us help help that project. Um, if you get halfway through it and you got that pipe in the air already or you got that duck bank in the ground or that tray up, you may have uh, – limited yourself in, in uh, saving money and, and saving labor on that project. So any other, any questions come in yet, Joe? Yeah, I haven't seen anything come through the chat there, Johnny. All right. Well, uh, we've got uh, classes coming up. We've got some more classes. It's going to be more in depth on using the calculator. You uh, check us southward.com and, and look for our, our classes we have coming up. And uh, we hope to see you on some of those classes and everyone stay safe.